Hey, this is Danny. Welcome to my cave. Today we're gonna find out which racket will go to the next round. First victory, first blood, first tears of joy. <laughs> I admit that tier 40 has a slight advantage because I already had some good results with it. I think it fits perfectly somewhere between prestige and blade line. The main traits are feel and precision, which helps playing under pressure. Fernando Ferdasco had his prime level with Technifiber frames and for some reason I imagine that uh, this design is something uh, that evolved from his past racket of choice. However, T-Fight has a history of grand slams, especially now when Iga Świątek moved to the T-Fight 300, the line is even more complete and inspiring to play with. In general, T-Fight is slightly more modern with a bit more power and spin, but is still a control-oriented racket. So let's compare the rackets and focus on the key differences that will help me reveal the winner. Let's start with a feel. Both rackets are foam filled. Both have good comfort, but the sweet spot of the T-Fight 315 is slightly smaller. I tried to add some mass to expand the sweet spot, stringing with lower tensions uh, helps as well, but I feel like it was still something a bit worse compared to TF40, which maybe is not the most forgiving in terms of the performance, but the feel is consistent no matter where you catch the ball on the string bed. This uniform response with TF40 gives you more confidence to hit out without any worries as the feedback is very in line with what you are trying to achieve. Tier 40 has no dead spots and no hot spots. Before I strike the ball, I have a clean image what I want to achieve and Tier 40 enables to execute the plan slightly better where the TF315 can sometimes drop in power. So the feel and level of connection goes to the TF40. And I must say, this level of connection might be actually the best from all the rackets I tried so far that are in my tournament of rackets. Let's now compare the power levels because this is where things get interesting. T5315 has slightly more pop. The difference is maybe not that big in numbers, but the difference itself has impact in many key aspects of the performance. Grand strokes are slightly heavier, so it's also easier to push back the opponent, it's easier to serve and it's easier to defend. T-Fight is trying to balance the power and control while TF40 is giving you all the control and feel, but you need to generate power on your own. I struggle a bit with TF40 on serves and when I have to kinda guide the ball deep and don't have much time to accelerate for more power. So it's a great racket for someone who is taking the lead from the beginning to the end of the point, but it's harder to switch the momentum if you are pushed to defense. If you have so much precision from the racket, you have to be aggressive, otherwise it's easier to get punished and when you start running to those difficult balls, it's just hard to restart the rally, so you end up in this dooms cycle of running around, giving two easy balls only to be attacked once again. So here I can say that T-Fight is slightly better, it gives you enough control to keep the ball inside the court and enough power to push back the opponent from defensive situations. Now stability. T-Fight is ready to play in stock form, while TF40 needs some mods to be completely stable. If you have TF40 315, then it's about adding wave to the head, which is sl slightly harder, more complicated. If you own TF40 305, then it's slightly easier because basically I had to figure out how heavy I want the frame to be and how headlight it should be for my swing style. In stock form, I felt slightly disconnected, but adding mass to the handle is easier and faster. T5315 is stable, but also fast enough, so there is some room for small adjustments. Stability goes to T5315. Control. TF40 has better touch and ball pocketing, 
It also has less power. This combo makes the F41 one of the most control-oriented rackets on the market. Tight 16x19 string pattern enables you to shape the ball how you want, but everything under very strict control. It's slightly easier to shape the ball compared to most 1820 rackets, even with 100 square inches head size. T-Fight is taking away some of the feel, but gives in return better ability to control your situation on the court. It's easier to respond with different kind of balls from different situations. You have more tools to work with, but none is actually a top of the top. So TF40 gives better control over the ball and T5 315 gives better control over the rally. T fight won't be bullied as easy as you sometimes can be with the TF40. And this is the key factor for me and my future racket of choice. And I think about it quite a lot, like trying to identify who I want to be on the court and what I have to do and what I need in order to be in the best possible situation to achieve my goal. I need control to be able to keep the ball forever inside the court at least the feeling of this level of control, because I feel like I am more a control-oriented player rather than power-oriented player. Never miss, nothing for free, true grinder. But at the same time, I need the ability to control the rally, which means having answer to whatever is thrown at me. So the point is played the way I want it to be played, even if it looks like I am the one defending. On clay courts it's slightly easier, on hard courts it's definitely harder, as the uh, surface is much faster. I need tools to wear down my opponents uh, physically and mentally to the point where uh, they have no idea what strategy to pick against me, maybe pushing them to try something out of their toolbox, dragging players out of their comfort zone. I actually prefer to react rather than dictate. My mindset is problem solving. But to make things clear, I am aware that in order to grow, I need to develop more aggressive tools as well, especially against the players that have similar playstyle to me. So I had T5 315 and TF40 for quite some time now, maybe the longest from all my selections. And I almost picked T5 315. In my mind, I selected it actually a few times, but this issue of a smaller sweet spot and the special feel of TF40, which is actually very addictive, keeps me puzzled about what should be better for me and my game. So in this case, I feel like the TF40 has a better ratio of positive and negative things. With T5 315, I don't create enough power to offset the smaller sweet spot and when I played against aggressive players they also didn't notice that much difference in performance either. So at this point it feels like it's better to maximize control and feel and try to find some power from technique or string selection rather than having something almost there where it comes to perfect balance of control and power but not quite good enough to offset the drawbacks that come with it. If T5315 was slightly softer with bigger, more forgiving sweet spot, I think it would be the TF40 that maybe lacks a bit of free power, especially on those defensive uh, shots. So my winner is TechFiber TF40 16x19. So that's it. I'm trying to push content as fast as possible. I want to be ready for the clay season with narrowed selection of maximum four rackets. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, this helps a lot. Here you can see my in-depth comparison. See you soon.